God, let's thank him for life. Let's give him praise because he's worthy. There is no one to compare with him. He is our helper. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Prophet Zachariah, you are welcome. Missionary Zachariah, you are welcome. Antioge, you are welcome. Chuku Precious, you are welcome. Ademora, you are welcome. You are welcome. No, no, from Lohim, you are welcome. No, so my key sister, you are welcome. Wherever you are watching from, you are welcome. Let's appreciate them. Solomon Kings, you are welcome. Yes, sir, he is our helper, our shelter. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him praise. Miracle Wachuku, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Emmanuel Asaga with the order of my world, you are welcome. Wherever you are watching from, you are welcome. You are welcome. Sorry we came behind the time just a few minutes late. And I strongly believe that the remaining minutes we have will be enough for what we came to do. Because I know that God is at work. A very changing pony. You are welcome, my dear. You are welcome. You are welcome. Let's appreciate him. Just tell him thank you for this commission. Tell him, Father, thank you for bringing me to this commission. Princess blessing. Oba, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity. Thank you for this commission. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your love. There is no one to compare with him. Let's appreciate him. He gave us life. He gave us shield. He gave us shelter. He protected us. Many wish to be alive, but they are not alive. But mercy kept you. Mercy kept me. It's all about him. It's all about God. We'll give you praise. We worship you. Thank you, my helper. Thank you for life. Thank you so much, Abba Father. Thank you, entire rock of ages. Let's appreciate him. When you appreciate him, he will do more. When you give him thanks, he will do more. When you give him praise, more miracles will happen. Let's appreciate God. Let's appreciate him. You are welcome. Auntie Jamaduru, you are welcome. Mercy Chukuma, sister Mercy Chukuma, you are welcome. Wherever you are watching from, you are welcome. You are welcome. Wherever you are watching from, you are welcome. Janet, sister Janet, you are welcome. You are welcome. Edu Janet, you are welcome. You are welcome wherever you are watching from. This is a special time and a special opportunity given to us to settle things that is behind of us. Remember that this is a commission that have a team that say losing is time. So we are talking about losing, we are talking about in parentheses, both male and female, mothers, fathers, and their children. We are not talking about just male nor female. When we talk about losing, we are using a biblical term because when Bible say losing, Bible is talking about losing everybody generally in parentheses, but male and female. So I appreciate him. My liberator, my keeper, my shield, my shelter, my maker, my healer, my favor, my lifter, my pusher, my promoter, my showcaser, my introducer, my connector. He is our God. Thank you, Ashes of Days. Blessed be your holy name because you are worthy. In Jesus' name we praise his name. Amen and amen. Father, we commit this moment into your mind to care. We ask for your presence to be with us. Whatever we are going to do, let it be to the glory of your name. Thank you for this commission given to us. Thank you for bringing us into this commission. For I know that you will give us testimonies. You will put smiles on our face. You give us reasons to testify. As we have had about two or three testimonies this week as well, I believe that at the end of the journey, that you will give us more testimony. Thank you, entire rock of ages, for what you have started doing for what you will still do, and for perfecting your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.
Thank God for the life I and you is living. I want to assure you that this commission will emerge you into your miracle. This commission will take you to your testimony. This is not a commission you will regret. This is a commission you will, you will ever appreciate being involved in it. I believe that God has selected the people he wants to settle through this commission. And I strongly believe that you are one. You are number one. I'm number one. You are there. I'm there. Without wasting much time, we are working with time. I want to read from the book of Genesis chapter 11. 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 Let me read from verse 6. But I will preach. Let me read from verse 5. But I will preach till 8 to 9. I read from verse 5, Genesis 11. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they began to do. Now, nothing that they prosper to do well, do well, be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and they con and confuse their language that they may not understand one another one another speech so the lord has scattered them abroad from there over the faces of all the earth and they cast okay and they ceased building their cities losing is the caption of this program losing 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 is the general theme of this program. Losing is the general theme of this program. Let me explain this place a little before I pray for you. Remember, this is a prayer session. When we talk about this place we read now, we are talking about after the world was destroyed with flood. That was the story of Noah and his generation. Bible made us to understand that after the world was destroyed with flood, and God said, I will no longer destroy the flood, I will no longer destroy the world with flood again. And that agreement was there, that the world will no longer be destroyed with flood. And God made a promise to them, and God blessed them, and God said to them, scatter abroad, expatiate, occupy, dominate. But behold, one day they wake up one morning and they said, we will not do as he said. We don't want to occupy, we don't want to scatter abroad. And they decided, to be the house to meet God in heaven. For God does share his glory with any man. God cannot share his leadership with any man. And they started building. If you read from verse 2, Bible said they started molding blocks. They said to themselves, let us move sound. And they started molding sound. They started building. They, they were understanding each other. When God looked forth, he discovered that what he said is not what is happening in the world. He said, no, I will not leave them to go according to their own will. I will scatter their language. He said, come, let us go and confuse their language, that they may do as I said. And I strongly believe tonight that God has looked down, and he discovered, and he saw, and he knew, and he's aware of it, that what he created I and you to be, that the enemies have said no to it. That how many children he wanted us to have, the enemies did not permit us. That the kind of wealth he wanted us to have, the enemy did not permit us. That the kind of prosperity he wanted us to have, the enemy might have said no. That the kind of academical favor he released to you, that the enemy might have said no. And God decided tonight to scatter the language of the enemies. Get ready for the prayers. This is a, a praying commission. This is not just a, pre a preaching war. I want to remind you something. If God has said, let us scatter their language, no man can say no. The purpose of tonight's program is to scatter the language of the enemies. Because I remember what the book of Jeremiah said. He said, behold, this day, I have set you over the kingdoms, over the territories, and over to the cities. He said, go. He said, I have given you authority to pull down, to build, to destroy. So whatsoever that have been taking dominion over you all this while, their journey has come to an end. Because grace of authority has been released to you. Grace of greatness has been released to you. Grace of wealth has been released to you. So get ready for your prayers. For we will no longer take what they said. For grace will be given to us. Authority will be given to us. Opportunity will be given to us to take to, uh, authority over them. Jeremiah 1 10 said, See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down, to build, and to plant. 
when God gives authority, his words comes to pass. He has said, I have this day give, I have this day set you upon nations. That simply means I have created you to be rich. I have created you to be great. I have created you to be healthy. I've created you to prosper. I've created you to marry. I've created you to have wealth. I've created you to have grace as a minister. I have I have set you over nations. I want you to understand this place very well. Bible said, I have set for the creation of you and I. The power of greatness is there. Power of riches is there. Power of testimony is there. Power of healing is there. Power of breakthrough is there. Power of favor is there as well. That's why Bible said, I have this day set you over nations. I have this day set you over series. I have this day lift you above your enemies. I have this day lift you above your equals. But what is the challenge? He said, the grace I'll be given to you. I want you to understand this place very well. He said, I have set you over nations, over kingdoms, to root out. That simply means whatever you say will come to pass. Therefore, I pray with you, any altar that will be beating their towers against your life, against your family. Let them be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. I pray with you in agreement. As I pray, you pray wherever you are. Every altar fighting you are the climbers of destiny. Any enemies are the climbers of success. Any altar are the climbers of my testimony. Any kingdom are the climbers of my testimony. Let them be destroyed tonight in the name of Jesus. Bible said, I have this day set you over nations. I have this day set you over kingdoms. I have this day set you over territories. I have this day lift you above your equals. I have this day make you great. I have this day put smiles in your face. I have this day put testimony in your face. When God put testimony in your face, who is a man to stop you? When God said yes, who is a man to say no? I have this day. I pray with you. Any kingdom working against your success, working against your testimony, working against your breakthrough, let that kingdom be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Manana Elia, Eskotolebra, in Telebosha, Bible said, I have this day, I have this day set you over nations. I pray with you, every foundation speaking against you. May heaven lift you above that foundation. Every altar speaking against you. May God lift you above that altar. I have this day set you over nations. I have this day set you over cities. I have this day lift you above your equals. I have this day set you above the territories. He said, I have given you the grace to rule over them. I don't know what shall be ruling over you. Today, receive authority to conquer them. Receive grace to overcome them. Receive grace to rule them. In the name of Jesus. Bible said, I have given you the grace. I want you to understand this place very well. It's a very simple statement. Before we move over to Genesis, this is Jeremiah 1.10. 1, Look at what he said. Over kingdoms to root out that simply means God is aware there might be altars, there might be shrines, there might be territories, there must be kingdoms that may stand on the way, and that's why He said, I have this day given you authority over nations, over territories, over cities to break down, to uproot. I pray with you wherever you are, say with me, type it, you can say it, you can tap it. Say, Father, every foundation speaking against me, every kingdom speaking against me, every territory speaking against me, be destroyed right now. Be thrown down right now in the name of Jesus. Bible said to root out, not only rooting out, to pull down. I pray with you, anything standing on your way, any altar standing on your way, on the word of your business, word of your transaction, word of your conception, word of your marriage, word of your job, word of your spiritual life, word of your contract, word of your relationship. I pray with you, every altar, by person, I have given you authority to pull down, to destroy, to throw down. I root out anything that is not contributing to your success. Let that be root out in the name of Jesus. I root out any altar that is not contributing to your success. Bible said pull down. Bible said to throw down, to root out, to pull down, to destroy. 
and to throw down. I pray with you. Every altar speaking against you, let them be thrown down. Let them be pulled out. You are called barrenness. You are called setback. Barrenness in contract. Barrenness in marriage. Barrenness in conception. Barrenness in job. Barrenness in finance. Barrenness in health. Let them be rooted out. In the name of Jesus. Bible said to build. I want you to understand this very well. To build and to plant. Who said you will not build what belongs to you? Who is that man standing in your camp? When he looks as if that life wants to favor you, challenges will come. When he looks as if that doors want to open, challenges will come. I, I pray with you. Let that altar be destroyed. I stand upon my midnight prayers. An assignment of midnight that God gave to me. I agree with you in prayers. Let the altar be thrown down in the name of Jesus. Manana Elia Elia Elia. Zaliba in the bush. Libra in Dayaka. Escoto Libra. In Dayanania. Zananania. Escoto Libra. In the bush. Libra Escoto. Ma Libra in Daya. Libra Basukele. Libra in Dayaka. Every altar. Every manipulation. Every root of the enemies. Every foundation of the enemies growing against you, rising against you, fighting against you, speaking against you, walking against you, fighting against you. Let them be root out. Let them be root out. Let them be uproot. Let them be uproot. Let them be cut out. Manana Elia, Escoto, Le Papa, Indelia, Indayaka, Malebra, Escoto, Le Papa, Indayaka, Le Papa. Sundelele, Lebra Indelia, Escoto Lebra, Indaya, Manana Elia. Let them be rooted out in the name of Jesus. That is a dream I had last night. After my prayers around 2 5, because I normally close my midnight prayers around 5, 5 36. When I close my prayers, I had a dream. You know, when I woke up, I sat and I started thinking about that dream. Let me just give you a hint of that dream. In that dream, I saw a little child, and the child was like, telling me, help me to grow. And I crossed the child, I was like, can a man help a man to grow? But I discover that the voice of that child is not a child, but the voice of the child is an adult voice. I crossed that person and started going. I heard a voice, go back and help that person. You know how dream flies. It looks as if that where I was praying for that person looks like, like, like a church, but that wasn't my ministry. Now, as I was praying for the person, I discovered that the height started adding. Before I could finish praying for that person, I discovered that the man who is a hefty man, not just a tall man. There's a woman being tall and hefty. I discovered that he's a hefty man. And I asked that man a question in the dream. Why are you short? He answered me one thing. He said, I can't explain, but thank God I have grown. I pray with you. I don't care to know where the foundation is coming from. When I woke up, I sat and I think about it. That simply means what cost it is not important now. But what is important is your deliverance. I pray with you. Anything that is not growing well around you, I declare your total deliverance. I declare your total deliverance. I believe that my midnight prayers are said to this case. I came to agree with you. As that child grew in that dream, that wasn't a child but a man. I pray with you. That your business. That your health, that your co contract, that your marriage, that your academics, that job that have refused to grow to the height you have been expecting. I pray for you as it was for me last night in the dream. It will work for me in your life and business. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Don't mind my voice. I'm on, I'm on an assignment of midnight prayers. So I have already lost my voice during midnight prayers. But one thing I want to assure you, that your deliverance is granted. Your liberation is granted. Your total breakthrough is granted. In the name of Jesus. Now look at what we already said. Bible said, and they said, instead of the generation of Noah, to do what God said, God said to them, I have commanded you, establish, scatter abroad, Instead of them to scatter abroad, they decided to be to meet God. But they forgot that what God did not permit does not resist. That what God did not allow 
does not resist. Bible said, and God looked up and saw them building towards his throne. And he said, come, let us go and scatter their language. Who is that man behind your case? Every gathering of the enemies against your success, against your breakthrough, against your family. I pray with you, let them be scattered. Let the language of your enemies be scattered. Let the language of your enemies be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every language speaking against you, every click of the enemies, every altar, Obonye Nagadibia, Obonye Nedu Yedu, Obudibia Nagore Yagore, both the native doctor and their altars and their shoran, and whosoever that went to meet them for your sake, I pray with you, let their language be scattered. Let their altars be scattered. Let their shoran be scattered. Let their territories be scattered. In the name of Jesus, my labor is Koto, who rise against you, who gave you a day to fall, who gave you a day to crash, who speak against you, any altar speaking against you, any gathering of the enemies, against your family, against your sources, let them be scattered. In the name of Jesus, type it for me. Type it scatter. Any altar, type it scatter. Any shrine, let them be scattered. Any enchantments, let them be scattered. In the name of Jesus. You know, let, 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 let me share something with you. So you understand what I'm talking about by altars. Yesterday was our morning service. After leading them in some prayers, I decided to give some people their prophecies. When I entered into the realm of prophecy, I gave few people prophecies. One of the people I gave prophecy said that she went back in the night where she was sleeping. A woman came to her and asked her question, why did you go to church yesterday? And she asked the woman, what do you mean? That woman replied to her, I have already given you a date to die, but how did you escape that death? She said, and she replied to that woman, sister said I will not die. Immediately she made that comment that the woman caught fire and fire started burning the woman. The woman disappeared and she didn't see the woman again. And she woke up in the morning. She went to urinate. She discovered that after urinating, she saw things like, I don't know if I would call it warm. Yes, that is warm. She discovered because she called it in Igbo language. She said, you know, warm. And she saw three different lengths of warm that came out of her body. You know, when God wants to liberate a man, he sets him free without taking permission from his enemies. And that did not stop there. There is another young man I gave a prophecy yesterday. What was the issue of that young man? The, the brother wants to close their generation. They are only two in their family just because of a land issue. Now, I gave him prophecy. He had been treating ulcer since this year. He had been taking drugs for ulcer. But he discovered the more he takes drugs, the more the case got worse. To a point, he hears voices of death. To a point, the voice rebooks him from going to his business center. In the morning, he will be in his house. Other people are running his business for him. Two different places. He has two different business centers in Warwick. He can't travel from Portacourt to Warwick because of that issue. The one in Portacourt, he no longer goes to his shop. Just because of the manipulation. Yesterday, didn't professor, I told him something. I told him, you have been taking a wrong medication. You don't have ulcer. And there is a test that we have to conduct on him today. And he has already paid for the test, which is 160 something thousand. Now, I told him, go to that test. You will discover that that test that has been reading ulcer, ulcer, that are married to be taking drugs every day. You will discover that it's not ulcer. You know, let me shock you a little. Do you know that that young man has spent over a million or close to one million naira in a space of few months in that issue? Only for him to go to hospital today. A white doctor, not a black doctor, in Port Arcot, where he paid for one, it, the test he ran, one of them is 160 something thousand. Only for the white doctor to pass, to conduct that test again, the doctor says, sorry, we have been treating a wrong illness. There is nothing like such sickness. I want you to understand this. He has been he has been, they have been treating him oxa for months. 
only for them to discover that he is healthy. They told him you are healthy, you are not sick, nothing is wrong with you, but the challenge is still there. I don't know a man who has blessed you in a position of wasting the one you have. The young man I'm talking about came from Usakali precisely. I'm not telling you a far message. I pray with you, any man, any woman, they have vowed to steal your joy. Manana Elia Elia, after this commission prayers tonight, my God will scatter your enemies in the name of Jesus. Bible said, let us confuse their language that they may have misunderstanding them. And God confused their language. They no longer understand each other. I pray with you. I don't care to know the click of your enemies. I don't care to know the click of men fighting you. I don't care to know the altar speaking against you. But I pray with you. Tonight, let their altars be scattered in the name of Jesus. Who rises against you? Who is working against you? I look at that young man yesterday, I cried for him. I looked at him, I cried for the young man. How can a young man be working and be spending the health when there is no medical issue? Had it been that that message did not come yesterday, he would have keep on taking drugs. And the test of today would have read the same thing. Today is the only different test he made that didn't read the same sickness. I don't know anybody, any familiar spirit, any familiar face, you see the different thing to cover your face. You see the different sickness to rob you your good health. You see manipulations to rob you your business. You see enchantment to rob you your conception. You see involvement to rob you your connection. You see manipulation to rob you your marriage. I pray for you today. Let your altars catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Manana Elia. Esco Libra. In the any bar, any altar, any evil altar speaking against you, against your family, scatter right now, scatter right now, scatter right now, scatter right now, in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May the language of your enemies be scattered. May the language of the altars be scattered. I pray with you. They will lose the battle. Manana Elia. Escoto Libra. In Daya Calibra. Zalibra Escoto. In Delebo Shadana. I agree with you. They must lose the battle. In the name of Jesus. Any altar, let their language be scattered. Achoriachu, Ekerek, Aguariago, let their language be scattered. Eliriele, let their language be scattered. I lose your life. That bit, I lose my life. I lose my family. I lose my marriage. I lose my visa. I lose my contract. I lose my connection. I lose my victory. I lose everything that belongs to me. I declare your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Who threatened you? They have the right to threaten you, but they can't stop you. Malebra in the bush. Zanana Escoto Libra in the bush. On Monday night, I had a dream concerning my daughter, Calistia and Lily. When I woke up, I called Calista. I said, This Calista stuff in as I'm not comfortable with it. Who is on yeti? She said is that. Because God showed me her face. But with an evil name. Since I know I shall be answering that name, Calista. But when God showed me her case in the dream, God told me that her name is Onyechi. And I now ask her, Onye bo Onyechi, she said is, is me, is her. And I ask her one question. I asked her, did any woman threaten you 2013? She said, I can't remember. And I mentioned the name of the lady, Rita, in question. And she said yes, that that was the weird, where they lived before. I said, what did the woman tell you? The woman, she said that the woman told her, your mother saw opportunity, you never see opportunity. And she didn't understand that language. She said that she only told her back to send her. Little did she know that that was how the door of her marriage was closed. Never to get married in life. 
And even if she get married, she will never have a child. When I asked her about that woman, and I asked her what was the comment, she told me the comment. I told her, that is where your challenge is coming from. You need to seek Onye. Let me not call her the English name Kalista. You need to see how beautiful. You need to see how wealthy she works in her company. She's my daughter. She's beautiful. She has money. She has good character. But no man counts for her for friendship. Not to talk of marriage. You know, the first time she told me that somebody gave her my number. I couldn't believe it. I was like, is it possible that at your age you said you are 42? No friendship. Not to talk of marriage. It was a Monday night that I knew where her problem is coming from. When God was giving me her message, God showed me a woman that came out in the night naked and looked at the moon and cursed her. Now my question is, how can you curse somebody who did nothing? And how did the woman cost her? The woman brought out a male hen. Don't be a and I tried to go to Meaning that everything about the marriage of that girl had been swallowed by her. When I was asking Onyechi, who is Onyechi? She had been asking Kalista, 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 Kalista. But on Monday, God called her Onyechi. After telling you this, I will pray for you and, and, and we will close. Because I'm looking at time. After praying for her on Tuesday, because after that day, I closed my prayers that Monday around, around 5 or 5 30. But I got her on phone by 6 o'clock in the morning because I called her for a long time before she picked. After telling her that story, she started crying. She said, no wonder that nobody asked me, how are you? Men will always tell her you are beautiful, they will cross. No friendship. She confided on me. She said, mommy, I am not virgin because I'm a believer. I am virgin because no man has ever come close to me. You know, sometimes when I started ministry newly, it sounds funny. I don't believe it, but I have come to believe it. Because that is not the first case I'm treating that way. I prayed for her on Monday night, on, on Tuesday morning, after the dream on Monday night. After praying for her, she called me the same Tuesday in the evening. I said, Mom, I would like to sow a seed. I said, if you wish. But I didn't give you a message to sow a seed. She said, I would like to. At least that woman did a sacrifice. She, she sowed some seed. Her miracle did not come through her seed. I'm only trying to tell you the procedures of her message. Because I told her, whether you sow the seed or not, your miracle will come. She said, no, I want to fast forward my miracle, mom. I told her, for the fact I saw the dream, and I saw your evil name you have not told me before, whether you saw it or not, your miracle will happen. She keep pressing, mom, I need an account number. I sent her account number. She sowed the seed. I was like, what do I do with this seed now? Okay, let me sow it out. I have to sow that seed to somewhere else. The same Tuesday, she called me. I was resting. She called me. She said, mom, I sent her. She said, I will snap something and send to you. I said, snap. She snapped a chart. Somebody that had been working in the same office with her for the past eight years, for the past six years, for the past seven years, for the past three years, for the past four years, came in the morning and told her, I would like to see you. She went inside. The man said, go and pray about it and think about it. If it will work for us to marry. The man said, I'm giving you two weeks to think about it. She told the man, two weeks is too small. The man said, okay, take your time. By August ending, give me a reply. When she told me that, she, she now type it and send it to me because she didn't want to talk because she's still in the office. I told her, only, she said, mm. I said, what are you going to pray for? How long have you been praying? She said, mom, will I just say yes? I said, you can't just say yes. But one month is too far to say yes. Because your message came on Monday night. Tuesday morning, you went to work. Somebody called you and telling me you want to go and pray for one month. What kind of prayers is that? I told her, well, you may take one week as a woman, as a come to Garaka. But make sure. Now God got for two weeks. Make sure, in fact, I log for one week. Now, what am I trying to tell you? Do you know that why her marriage did not come was because there is a wrong name in the in the, in the, in the, in the I mean, let me use the word in her story. Onya churiya da churiya da with the name Onyinechi. Why pastors are busy? Praying for her with the English name Kalistia. Because I asked her a question. She decided to add English name. Now, she will present Kalistia as a name. What if God did not refuse her name on Monday to me? This, the girl, I didn't just tell her that she came to know me newly. I prayed for her for three solid years. 
I will not lie to you that I prayed for her once. Three good years. Until on Monday. Because I make them 60 days night with you. A close room came there, maybe down another one. Until on Monday night, God said to me, Let me reveal to you why Onyechi has not been liberated. And God said to me, Her manipulation was done with her real name Onyechi. Why prayers have been offering all this word with the name Kalista? Why did I share this with you? Because I want to use it and settle a case with you. I don't care to know the name they used against you. Because I discover that some of those uncles, when they want to do things against you, they will use the name of name of Nagoroge. Imagine this, my daughter. I have prayed for only for three years with the name Kalista. With that knowing that Kalista is the name she gave to herself, that the manipulation was done with the name of Yinechi. I pray for you. Your amen is what you need. Your fire is what you type. If you can type fire, you type it. If you can type amen, you type it. I pray with you. Any altar, any shrine, any manipulation, any enchantment, they did against you with your name, English name, Igbo name, foundational name, your real name. I don't care to know. Manana Elia, Lebra Indrebosha, Le Baba Escoto, Lebra Indaya, Nananania, Escotolia, Lebra Indania, Lebra Indaya, Lebra Escoto. I lose your life. Be loosed. I lose your marriages. Be loose. I lose your connections. Be loosed. I lose your business. Be loosed. I lose your job. Be loosed. I lose your family. Be loose. Prince Moses, you are welcome. And your healing is assured. Nobody will stop you. My Libra Escort. In the Yaka Libra. In the Lebo Shanana. Libra Escort. I lose my life. I lose my family. I lose my name. My Nana India. I'm breaking forth. I'm liberated. I'm delivered. Lebra Escort. Le Baba India. As I summarize, because I've taken a, a, a little time behind the time I needed. I pray with you. Any man, any woman, after your life, after your business, after your connection, no matter the name they use, your paternal name, your maternal name, your husband's name, your Igbo name, your English name, your children's Igbo name, your children's English name, your husband's English name, your husband Igbo name, your husband's family name, traditional name, I don't care to know. Be lost right now. In the name of Jesus, I lose my life. I take my promotion. I take my liberation. I take my marriage. I take the wisdom of my children. I take the knowledge of my children. I take divine protection. I receive divine shelter. I take my traditional marriage day. Pick your date. Pick your time. My Nana Elia, I must be great. What stop my father cannot stop me. What stop my mother cannot stop me. What fault my father will not fight me. What fault my mother will not fight me. I take my liberation. No matter what they use. Your English name. Your Igbo name. Your traditional name, your family name, your maternal name, your paternal name. I agree with you. Be lost right now. In the name of Jesus. I pray with you. In this commission, you will not end halfway. Your miracle will not end halfway. Never 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 Your miracle will go with you. May Jehovah cross you over to the other side. The language of your enemies are scattered. Their manipulations are scattered. Their enchantments are scattered. Their invocements are scattered. Your freedom is granted. Remember the theme of this program. Lose him. It's time. Lose me. It's time. Lose my business. It's time. Lose my children. It's time. Lose my family. It's time. Lose my transaction. It's time. Lose my contract. It's time. Lose my spiritual life. It's time. Lose my praying life. It's time. Lose my spiritual growth. It's time. Lose my fasting life. It's time. Lose my praying life. It's time. 
Lose the grace of my dream. It's time. Lose my prophetic grace. It's time. Lose my dream grace. It's time. Lose my trance. It's time. Lose my vision. It's time. Any gift you have, you think you have lost. Spiritual gift, physical gift, I decree. Let there be a revival right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray with you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. Favor of God shall follow you. Open doors shall be your portion. Whatever you learn hands from now will prosper. As I lift you in my midnight prayers tonight, whatever you ask for, my God will grant you your testimony. In the name of Jesus. If you have a prayer point, drop it in the screen now because I want to log out. Drop it right now. Drop it. If you have any prayer point, anything you want me to settle for you, even though if it is the same prayer point you dropped last week, keep dropping your prayer point. Because that is one opportunity we have in this world. We we'll keep receiving prayer points every week. We we'll pray this prayer. Is there any prayer point you want me to lift for you tonight during my midnight prayers? Is there anything you want me to remember you to pray tonight? Just drop it now before I will log out. Drop that your prayer point. You need your job. Remember me in prayers concerning my job, concerning my marriage, concerning my children, concerning my business. Drop your prayer point. Let me see it because I'm about logging out. Malebra in the bush. Escoto lebra in daya. Le baba in the bush. Shana escoto lebra in the bush. Le baba zondaya kama lebra escoto lebra in the bush. Le baba in daya kalebra escoto lebra in the bush. Le baba baba sundele bush. Drop your prayer point. I'm taking more time because I know that network was too bad. So that's why we took extra five minutes, almost extra ten minutes. It's getting to extra 20 minutes. So I'm waiting for your prayer point. Drop it. I'm seeing it. Mm-hmm. Ma lebra escoto lebra in the bush. Le baba in daya kalebra escoto lebra. Drop that prayer point. My promotion. Drop that prayer point. Let me pick it right now. So that while praying midnight prayers, I will still remind you and lift you. Ma lebra in the bush. Lebra escoto lebra in the bush. Zana na 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 indra bo shana na eskoto libra indra bo shia le baba eskoto libra indra bo shana na libra eskoto libra inda ya ka libra indra bo shia zana na 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 eskoto libra indra bo shia zale baba inda ya ka libra indra bo shana na libra indra bo shia ma libra indra bo shana na eskoto libra indeni zala la 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 eskoto libra indra bo shia zale bra inda ya ka libra indra bo shana na indra bo shia. Escoto lebra in dayaka. Le baba sun de le boshia. Lebra in de boshana na escoto lebra in dani. Le baba sun dayaka lebra escoto in de boshia. Lebra in dayaka lebra in de boshana. Zanana na escoto lebra. In dayaka lebra in de boshia. Lebra in de boshia. Lose me is time. I'm loosed. It's time. My business is loosed. It's time. Ma lebra escoto lebra in de boshia. Zanana escoto lebra in de boshia. My father's house is loose this time. My marriage is loose this time. My spiritual life, my praying life, my fasting life is loose this time. My gift, my trust, my dream is loose this time. Ma lebra escoto lebra in the bush. Le baba sundaya ka lebra in the bush. Zana na 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 na. Escoto lebra in the bush. Na na escoto lebra in daya. Le baba sunde le 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 escoto. Ma na na in daya ka lebra in the bush. Zalebra escoto lebra in daya kalebra in the bush. Le baba sun daya kalebra in the bush. Le baba escoto lebra in the bush. Zanana escoto in the bush. Lebra escoto lebra in the bush. Lebra in the bush escoto na. Lebra in daya kalebra escoto. Mananania escoto lebra in the bush. I pray with you. It is well with you. Your case is settled. Your miracle is granted. Your testimony is granted. Your favor is granted. Your promotion is granted. Your spiritual growth is granted. Your prayer life has been loosed. Your financial life has been loosed. I pray with you, as this month comes to an end in a few days, let your miracle come. Let your testimony come. 2021 will settle you with good testimonies. It shall be well with you all the days of your life. In Jesus' name. I pray with you. Amen and amen. God bless you for being a part of this commission. You will not regret being involved. All the days of your life, goodness and mercy shall follow you. Testimony shall follow you. 
Breakthrough shall follow you. Favor shall follow you. It shall be well with you. I can't wait to hear your testimony. Congratulations. You are blessed. You are lifted. In Jesus' name, I pray with you. Amen and amen. I remain your sister, Reverend Oluchi Precious Kalu. In case you watch us from Martin of Change, well, which is Oluchi Zakoli at Martin of Change, or you will watch from YouTube, you want to join us live, just log in with that name, Oluchi Uzakoli. You will see that wall. Log in with that, my name, you will join this program. This program comes every month, every Thursday night by 10.30. The theme of this program is losing. In case you want to know more about it, losing is time. Sorry for taking much time. This is supposed to be 20, 30 minutes prayers, but God understands better. Go and shine. Go and have your testimony. Go and have your freedom. Your miracle is granted. Congratulations. You are blessed. You are lifted. In Jesus' name, I agree with you in this commission. Amen and amen. Welcome. All that joined us later, welcome. I welcome you once again into this page. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Congratulations for your testimony. I can't wait to celebrate with you. I must celebrate with you soon. Love you all.